Now that we have our margin guide set, let's create a couple of colored bars to help define the top and bottom of our layout. I'm going to zoom in to the top part of my layout. I'm going to choose the rectangle tool and I'm going to click and the rectangle that I want is a thousand pixels wide by 30 pixels high. I already have that entered into this dialog box so I'm going to hit OK. I am going to change the color. So the color is CEB589. And I'm going to add this color to my swatches menu so that I can use it later. And then I'm going to position this at the top of my layout. I'm going to zoom in so that I can really see what I'm doing and make sure that it's positioned correctly. I want that to go right to the edge of my document. So I'm really going to zoom in here. All right, so once I'm sure that that's positioned correctly, I'm going to zoom all the way out. I'm going to select that colored bar, Command-C, Shift-Command-V to paste in place. Let me move that copy down toward the bottom. I'm going to choose the transform panel and I want to um, make sure that let's just position that at 500 pixels and then the Y position for that I'm going to choose the transform tool. Let's just fix this X position and make that 500. And then we want the height of this to be 85 pixels. Um, before I position that, I'm just going to fix the X position of my first color bar. Okay, and then I'm going to go down to the bottom of my document and make sure that this is positioned exactly on the bottom edge. All right, so now that we have our colored bars at the top and the bottom of our layout, we need to add some thin ruled lines that will help to define different sections of our layout. Before I do that, I want to go to the View menu and make sure that Snap to Point is checked, but Snap to Pixel and Snap to Grid is unchecked. I'm going to zoom in, and it's not that important where you start. I'm going to choose my Line Segment tool I'm going to click right over this left-hand guide and then I'm going to drag holding the shift key and let and release when I feel it snap to that right-hand guide. I'm going to choose one point for my stroke width. I'm going to double click the stroke the stroke swatch and we're going to choose a dark brown for this. I'm going to type in the color 574109. And then I'm going to add this color to my swatches panel. So I'm going to click and drag on the stroke swatch and then just drop that into the swatches panel. I want to make sure that this is positioned correctly along the y-axis. 
So I'm going to go to the transform panel and again I just want to make sure that the X position is at 500 and that the Y position is at 513 and I'm hitting tab to enter that. And before I do, let's just also make sure that this width is 940 pixels so we can be more precise. All right, so mine was very close to the position I wanted it to be, so it's, it shifted slightly. I'm going to create a second rule, so I'm going to hit Command-C, Shift-Command-V to paste in place. I'm going to go to Transform, and I'm going to change the Y position to 600. Command-C, Shift-Command-V to make a third rule. I'm going to go to Transform. For Y, I'm going to type in 1191. That jump down to here. Command C, Shift Command V, transform. For the fourth rule, I'm going to change that Y position to 1702. Command-C, Shift-Command-V. Fifth rule, I want that Y position to be 2181. And now, toward the bottom of the layout, I want a vertical rule to divide this space again. So I'm going to, with the fifth rule here still selected, Command-C to copy, Shift Command V to paste. I'm going to hover over one end of it so that I have a curved arrow with a double arrowhead. Hold the Shift key and drag until I have a vertical line. I'm going to go to the Transform panel. I'm going to make the height of this rule 460 pixels. And the Y position is going to be 2438. And now our layout is ready to start placing content. What I can do also is, since we've been working on the background and uh, the background layer and we don't want to accidentally move any of these elements I can lock that background layer and then I can create a new layer and then we're ready to move on to the next portion